Okay, so my name is Paul Purdue with pvboatgraphics.com. That's P V is in Purdue Vision boatgraphics.com. And I'm going to show you how to install a boat knife. First, you want to clean it with an isopropyl alcohol. I like to use a microfiber cloth just because it makes it, it doesn't leave any residue behind. The paper towels can leave, you know, pieces of the towel, little fibers. You don't want those to get underneath your, your, your material. Um, you're going to need some blue painter's tape. I'm going to take a segment of this off. Let's just get this taped up. I typically like to start the boat name. Right here we have a cleat. If you have a cleat, there's typically going to be either a fender that comes off of that, which could impede the graphics, rub the graphics, scratch the graphics. You don't want that. So we'll, we'll get it set up. And I'm going to move it just a little bit further back from that area, just so it's not going to get compromised. Um, always bring yourself a tape measure. We have a body line right here that we would like to test the height of this graphic. So I'm at about five inches right here. About five inches right there. So that looks pretty straight. You also want to stand back and get a good visual standing far enough back to make sure that visually the boat name looks level. So I'm going to do that right now. Visually that looks pretty good. I'm going to drop the left side just because I feel like the boat lines itself, there's nothing really straight on a boat and sometimes visually is the best way to align a graphic. Um, obviously the, the, the boat is not level, so if I wanted to take a level, if the boat was level, uh, you would want to have that level, but in this circumstance it's not, so I leveled the, the Cobalt logo in the back here to ensure that that has the same bubble levelness <laughs> as the, the, the back. So that looks like right about there. So th this way your, your, your graphic is level with the Cobalt logo that was installed at the factory. Because if you have two items on the side of a boat um, and one of them is skewed from the other, visually you'll be able to tell. What you want to do is hinge the name right down the center. So that you have a nice hinge holding it against the boat and then you're going to grab your squeegee and I like to use scissors um, to cut the backing off and your squeegee so we'll take this up right here pull it back against the boat you're going to pull your liner off of the back here Right, and then I'm going to cut the liner off, make a nice clean cut, pull this, and then just start in the center and work your way up and down, from the center up and down. You can even go out once you get closer to the edge. All right, this is an air regress material. Uh, we like to use air grass because when we do an insulation, it'll work out any bubbles. You can just push them out with your finger. Make sure you do a nice hard apply once you get that down. Any bubbles that we see after we remove the liner, we'll pop them or push them out. Now you can take off the center hinge. I'm just going to set this in here. You may use that again to save your media. When you do as many boat names as we do, tape adds up, so we actually try to reuse uh, stuff like that. I'm gonna pull it halfway off, pull it back this direction, pull tight on this, holding really firmly on this edge. And just again, starting in the center, I angle my squeegee a little bit just so it pushes the air out, back and forth. Now we can take more of that liner off. Matter of fact, then we can take the whole thing off at this point. There we go. 
make sure you go over the entire thing really well. Get it nice and nice and down and adhere to the surface. You don't want to have your boat waxed prior to this because the adhesion will not work if the boat is waxed. Um, you can compound it, you can wet sand it, that's okay. And now we're just going to start peeling off this liner. Okay. See, I have a squeegee with a nice microfiber edge tape on it. So if you see anything that's left, this is soft. It's not gonna scratch the material. Just make sure it's down and all around your edges. Give it a good look at an angle, because this is where you'll be able to see bubbles popping up. We did a pretty good job here. I don't see any. On the boat, there you go. So visually next to that cobalt, that to me looks level. So if it was at a skew, you'd be able to tell that it was not level with the Cobalt logo. So this is nice, looks good. This is a 10 year media with a UV gloss laminate. So that boat name will be on there uh, for a very long time, probably longer than the owner will have the boat. And um, this is how you do it yourself. So hopefully when you order your boat name from us, we can ship it to you. You'll have an easy installation utilizing this video here. This is Paul Purdue with pvboatgraphics.com. That's pvboatgraphics.com.